This is another demonstration of our protective relay overcurrent demonstration system. We're going to focus on the Schweitzer SEL501 digital overcurrent relay. And to test this, we need a load that draws a substantial amount of current. And to the right is our load. This is a shop vacuum cleaner. And the parameters of this vacuum cleaner, when it's running, it draws about 6 amps continuous. When it's starting, it has an inrush current of about 18 amps for a very short amount of time. Now, being that our current transformer ratio is 20 to 5 or 4 to 1, this means running current is about 1.5 amps secondary to the relay and the inrush current about 4.5 amps secondary to the relay. This is important because when we program the relay, we're going to be programming it in secondary amps, not primary amps. So we have to think in terms of what the CT is going to output to the relay. So, next we look at the parameters for our overcurrent settings. This time, we're going to be setting what's called the phase definite time overcurrent. This is similar to the instantaneous overcurrent, except that in addition to having a pickup value, which we must exceed, there's also a set time delay, which also must be exceeded before the relay will trip. So in this example here, we're going to be setting the pickup value at 4 amps secondary, which is 16 amps primary at the vacuum cleaner. Recall that the inrush current is about 18 amps. And what's going to happen here is we're going to set the time delay at a parameter that's uh, short enough where the inrush current of that vacuum cleaner will exceed the pickup value for the uh, time delay we specify and it will trip the breaker. So here we go. We're going to go over here and we're going to set um, relay X and we're going to enter the passcode which by factory default is 501. We're going to step down into this and we're going to look for the parameter 50 pp. There we go, 50 pp. Currently it's set at 8 amps. I want to set that at a low enough value where the vacuum cleaner can actually trip it. So in this case, I'm going to go to 4 amps. Remember, this is 4 amps secondary, which is 16 amps primary at the vacuum cleaner. Okay, now the time delay. Currently, this is set in three, uh, at, to be equal to 3 cycles. That's 3 cycles of the AC power. We know from previous experimentation that this vacuum cleaner draws the inrush current for about 3 and a half cycles. And so this should be uh, short enough for this to trip on this particular inrush. So I'm going to save this and we'll be ready for a test. So we'll pan the camera over to the vacuum cleaner and we'll start it up. If all goes well, this should trip up, uh, trip the relay very soon after it's started. So here we go. So you can hear the motor coasting a little bit. You can hear the thunk of the circuit breaker shutting off. It did indeed do its job. I'll turn this off. Coming over here, we see that the relay did indeed trip. Relay X tripped. It was an overcurrent condition on uh, phase B. We were only wired up to phase B on this relay, which is why I don't see any other phases blinking. It was not an instantaneous trip per se, even though they call this parameter 50, which according to the ANSI IEEE code is the number code for instantaneous, it's a definite time overcurrent as opposed to a true fast instantaneous trip. And so that's how they code it in the display. So what I want to do is show you the importance of this time delay. What we're going to do now is we're going to reset our targets. We're going to go into the set menu and we're going to go back and reset the time delay to a longer time delay. We're going to keep the pickup value the same. So 50 pp right there. We're going to keep it 4 amps secondary which again is 16 amps in the primary. Remember that our vacuum cleaner has an inrush of about 18 amps. So we will exceed the pickup value of current, but we're going to change the time delay to a longer time that's too long or longer than the inrush of the vacuum cleaner and therefore will not trip the relay. So instead of three seconds, I will go to five seconds. Sorry, I shouldn't say seconds, that's cycles. That's how many cycles of the AC power, my bad. Okay, now we go to the very end of the parameters here and we say yes, we want to save the changes. Fantastic. So at this point, I need to open up the door of the cabinet, reset our breakers. So now we're live, ready to go. I'm going to turn on the vacuum cleaner, and if all goes well this time, what's going to happen is the motor will run and continue to run. The same inrush will happen, but remember it only happens for about three and a half cycles in length. The relay is set to trip at five cycles, it has to exceed the pickup value for five cycles worth of time. 
which would be too long for the inrush, and it will not trip. So here we go. And as you, as you can see right there, the breakers did not trip. I had to manually shut off the vacuum cleaner. So that uh, declares to us that we did not exceed the pickup value for the requisite time delay. Now I did want to show you something over here. The display does say fault X. It picked up a new event. It recognized that we did exceed the pickup value. And it displays that, hey, we did actually go over the pickup value, but we didn't trip because we weren't high enough for long enough. We were not over the pickup value for five cycles worth of time.